So you guys should have read the book, Rachenka's Eggs, which is about a Ukrainian egg painting. So in this story, you will see a bunch of different styled eggs that are painted extremely beautifully by Ukrainian people. Um, so today we're going to be making our own Ukrainian egg, um, a very big one, and we will be using some silver paint to make it really cool. So first things first is you're going to draw an egg and draw it as big as you can. Eggs are skinnier on the top and they're a little bit chubbier on the bottom, like a big oval. Okay, And we're using white crayon. It's actually called a construction paper crayon. And a construction paper crayon is um, brighter and it shows up on dark paper. So we're going to be using construction paper crayons for the most of this project. You can see that I'm going over my circle a couple times to make sure that that egg stands out really nicely and it's very bright. Okay. Then once I'm done making my egg stand out, I'm going to start to add some details with that color um, with that white. So I can add any kinds of details like you're painting eggs at home, but you want to make sure that they're very detailed. So I can make wavy lines, I could have polka dots, I could have stripes that go across, maybe inside here I have another wavy or a bunch of wavies filling that whole space. I could have smaller chunks where I have um, maybe some circles, almost like little eggs. Try to come up with a bunch of different ideas to fill your spaces. You could have loop -dees. more just straight lines you could have a zigzag you could have a bunch of zigzags you see that we're running out of space so I could have triangles inside those zigzag lines That's a lot of detail. Wavy. Finish it off maybe by putting another loop de line. Looks like a bunch of eggs. With another one inside. So once you have all of your dot designs, then you're going to be getting some other construction paper crayon colors. There's a bunch to choose from. The brighter the colors, the more they stand out. And you're going to be coloring in your designs that you made. Okay. So each design should be different. You shouldn't have the same color right next to the same color. And you want to spread it out and cover the entire egg. You don't have to worry about the outside, but just inside your egg. So maybe I color each of these little spots green. making sure that I get it colored really nice and dark so that you can see it really good. It's okay if I cover up my white crayon right now because where, when you're all done, you're actually going to be using some silver paint to paint over those white lines. Remember, if you can't use your crayon anymore, you can always try to peel it but that peel needs to go in the garbage. You can't just keep it in there or put it back in the bucket. You must throw it away. So then the next part, if I'm coloring from the bottom, I would have to color this next part pink. I always like to do the outline first and then color it in. You're going to do the whole thing, not leaving any black left over. each of your designs will be colored. This is going to take you more than just a day. So take your time. 
color in each of your designs nicely because you will not be able to do silver paint until everything is covered nicely and neatly. Now that I'm done coloring with my construction paper crayons, I'm going to use some silver paint and I'm going to go over my lines. So, you're going to use a small paintbrush and some silver paint. You'll probably be sharing with your table. And you're going to start at the top so that your arm doesn't rub into it. And you're going to work your way down. So, you want to start by doing just the lines that were white. Okay, so you're going to go over all the white crayon with your silver paint. I like to rest my arm on my project so that I have a steadier hand when I'm tracing. Because usually we trace with pencil or oil pastel, but not normally paint. So this might be a little trickier. So you might have to go really, really slow to make sure that you have nice lines. When this dries, it's going to look really cool with the bright colors in the crayons and the sparkly shimmer of the silver paint. You're going to do it to every single white line that you have on there. So you'll notice I have right here some white area. So you have two choices. You can leave the white and see it. You can just so you can see it and just do around the outside of your shapes. Or you can paint that whole area in with silver. So I made a little bit of a mistake right here. I should have waited so that I could paint it there. Now I have to be very careful that my arm does not go in the paint because I did not give myself space. So I don't want to put my hand on my project right now. I want to move it away. So you can see it's already starting to dry and starting to be a little shiny. Make sure you do all the lines. So you can see I'm almost done painting all of my lines and then I'm going to be all done. Make sure you go slow. I got a little bit crazy right there and almost got off the line. There you go. Last thing you can do is with a silver sharpie, you can make sure that, that you're not doing a draw it on your wet paint, but you can write your name. And your class code would be right next to it.